Hello students, myself Amrita Dhar, Assistant Professor of Electrical Engineering Department of Greater Kolkata College of Engineering and Management, JIS Group. In this video, I will discuss about requirements and supply system for electric traction system. This topic is included in module 1 of the subject utilization of electric power. Course code is EE-702. In this video, I will discuss about electric traction. Electric traction. Now, traction system uh, can broadly speaking be classified as those which do not involve use of electrical energy at any stage such as steam engine and other internal combustion engine drive. They do not use electrical energy. And those traction system which involve use of electrical energy at some stage or other such as uh, diesel electric drive. Battery electric drive Straight electric drive They use Electrical energy. These are all the traction system and this, these are included in electrical traction system. Now first uh, discuss with steam engine drive. Steam engine drive. Now Steam engine drive is mostly used uh, traction system in almost all the underdeveloped countries. Now though losing ground due to various reasons, steam engine drive is most widely used drive for traction in India. Okay, now the main characteristics of uh, steam locomotive which adopted it by rail tra traction are the advantages of steam engine drive of steam engine drive are simplicity simplicity of design next operational dependability next simplified maintenance Now, a factor or considerable importance in technically underdeveloped uh, countries. This is a main factor. Easy speed control. The speed control 
of steam engine drive is very much simpler. Next advantage is properly designed boiler. So it has overload capacity. Okay. Next, it is self-contained unit. It is self-contained unit. So, uh, not, uh, therefore not tied to any uh, track. Next, advantage is no interference with telecommunication circuit. No interference with telecommunication circuit. And main advantage is low initial cost as no track electrification is needed in steam engine drive. So these are the advantages of steam engine drive and this drive do not use electrical energy. But what are the disadvantages of this drive? So we shifted to electric traction. So uh, next we discuss about disadvantages of this steam engine drive. So disadvantages. Okay. Uh, drawbacks of this uh, drive uh, so it is giving way to other uh, system of traction first low thermal efficiency now steam engine used on locomotive is non condensing type using steam at a low pressure now further Fires have to be banked even when locomotive is idle. On the other hand, electric locomotive, apart from the fact that power is required for the auxiliaries which run continuously, uses of electrical energy only when it moves. So, power required by electrical lo locomotive is usually uh, generated either in thermal or hydropower station. So thermal power station employing high capacity generating sets utilizing high temperature and pressure steam and give efficiency of generation apart from making saving on the coal. And beside these low grade coals can be burned in power station thereby affecting the saving of metallurgical coal. Now in hydropower station water is uh, the prime uh, source of energy and this makes complete saving on the consumption of the coal. Now observe that the average efficiency of steam locomotive is 5 to 7 percent. Okay against electric uh, locomotive whose uh, against electric locomotive whose efficiency is 40% to 42% and it is with hydro electric power and with a diesel electric locomotive it is 26% to 30% with diesel electric locomotive okay so compared to this electro locomotive uh, 26 to 30% for diesel electric and 40 to 42% with hydroelectric 
is it is very less in steam engine drive it is only 5 to 7 percent of so low thermal efficiency of the steam locomotive is the attribute to low contribution efficiency and considerable loss in the heat in the exhaust steam so it is the main disadvantage of steam engine drive next need of adequate supplies of feed of water next is advantage is need of adequate service of feed water the need of adequate supplies of feed water at regular intervals and in case of double heated train it requires lot of time of for watering so this is the uh, another disadvantage of using steam engine drive next uh, limited availability and increasing uh, range which uh, influenced availability Cruising range. Now, limited availability and cruising range, uh, which are influenced not only by the quantity of um, water and coal to be carried out in the locomotive tender, but also by periodic stops necessary to clean the ash pan. For standard passenger locomotive, this cru uh, cruising range from uh, range is 160 km. Now, next, steam engine. Sorry, this is two, this is three. First one is low thermal efficiency. Fourth one is steaming. Now steaming time is required to put the steam locomotive into operation and therefore it cannot be put into service immediately. Next one, performance of steam locomotive. Now performance of steam locomotive is governed by firing rate of the coal and single fireman can maintain a firing rate of about 2000 kg per hour for a short period and with two firemen firing rate would be 2700 kg per hour. So with one fireman the fire rate is this and with two firemen the fireman is 2700 kg per hour now due to unbalance force next one unbalance force now due to unbalanced forces produced by reciprocating masses coefficient of addition of steam like locomotive is 0.25 as compared with that of electric locomotive ranging from 0.3 to 0.45 and this would require higher axle loads which are restricted from railway bridge design consideration now as an alternative to this large uh, number of coupled wheels uh, has to be employed and the maximum number of coupled axles is restricted to four with the wheel arrangement of 282 as any further increase would make it difficult for locomotive to no uh, negotiate turnouts and curves without incurring uh, large lateral stresses and distortion of the track. Next one. Low coefficient of adhesion now due to the reason of low coefficient of adhesion power weight ratio of steam locomotive is very low so these are the disadvantage, main disadvantages of using steam engine drive there are uh, a lot of other disadvantages by using steam engine drive so uh, these disadvantages uh, leads to use of electrical traction system okay now electric traction is the most efficient of all other system and is going to be 
the future system to be adopted by almost all the countries of the world. Uh, reasons in addition to being most efficient can be assigned to these trends are first since uh, the electric motors are used as drives the system is clean and pollution free. The system is clean and pollution free. Next, next, uh, the torque is very high and therefore high acceleration is possible. So, high acceleration is possible. In fact, by using regenerative braking, energy can be pumped back into the system, especially during periods of descent, so that the instead of kinetic energy of the train being dissipated in the brake shoe and wheel tires, it would be converted into electrical energy and returned to the supply system. And thus, besides saving electrical energy maintenance cost of brake shoe, wheel tower, Tires and track rails would be reduced which may be sufficient to cover a fair percentage of the cost of electrification. Next, electric traction is more suitable especially for uh, suburban and urban railways where frequent starting and stopping and high schedule speeds are required. Frequent starting and stopping and high schedule speeds are the characteristics of this electric traction so it is can be used uh, in uh, suburban and urban areas where these two characteristics are required now with higher schedule speeds, uh, the train kilometers which can be run uh, with a giver equipment in a given time are greater and hence an electric train is capable of handling a greater volume of traffic as compared to the same number of steaming train. Now having same number of seating accommodation, the electric train has additional features that can uh, be divided and run in section during the periods of uh, light traffic. With this frequent service of trains can be maintained leading to increased traffic due to this period. Next advantages is the coefficient of addition is high which is the disadvantages of uh, disadvantage of steam engine drive. Coefficient of addition is high in electric traction. Now uh, so that for seeing the uh, tractive effort the electric locomotives are lighter and hence higher speed on gradients are possible. Next overloading of electric motors is possible. Overloading of electric motors is possible. for some time depending upon the degree of overloading next one center of gravity of um, electric traction is lower than that of the steam locomotive and hence electric locomotive runs faster at curve routes. Now the major disadvantages of electric traction is the its higher capital cost and power failures for a short time may cause complete, complete dislocation of the traffic. Next one is requirements of an ideal traction system.
requirements of ideal traction system uh, some of the important requirements of the driving equipment used for traction purposes are first the coefficient of addition should be high the coefficient should be high next it should be possible to overload the equipment over load the equipments number the wear cost on the brake shoe wheel tires and the track should be minimum wear should be minimum okay next it should be possible to use regenerative braking so that on descent it should be possible to generate energy and feedback to the supply system next requirement is regenerative braking the locomotive of the train unit should be a uh, self contained so that it can run on the any route and the last one it should be pollution free so from the previous discussion it can be concluded that the electric traction satisfied the most of the requirements even though it does not satisfy all of them but it uh, satisfy most of the requirements next is the supply system for electric traction supply system for electric traction now mainly three are the uh, supply system for electric traction first is the direct current system direct current system next one is the single phase ac system now at low frequency 162 by 3 hertz or 25 hertz and at normal frequency of normal frequency of 50 hertz 50 hertz and the third one is the three phase ac system okay so first we discuss the direct current ac system uh, now in this system energy is obtained from the substation which consists of transformer and converting equipments like acr because transformer is used uh, only for ac so we require the converting equipment so ac can be converted to dc and the substation are spaced at a distance of 3 to 5 km and in case of suburban railways operating uh, voltage is sub for suburban 1500 volt dc system uh, and in case of main lines it is uh, 
<coughs> volt DC system. It is for main line and it is for suburban. Okay. Now they are uh, spaced at a distance 40 to um, uh, 50 kilometers and these substations are of an attended type. The DC motor have better speed torque characteristics, torque speed characteristics and lower maintenance cost and smaller um, weight per horsepower and better speed control and efficient regenerative braking as compared to uh, single phase AC motors. The Motors are designed to operate at line voltage even though it is desirable for voltages above 1500 volt to operate two or more than two motors in series permanently. Next is a single phase uh, AC system. In single phase system the energy for trains is drawn directly at high voltages 15 kV to 25 kV from a generating station and when the length of the electrification is about 35 kilometers. Fifteen kV to twenty-five kV, and uh, for longer distance, it, it is dis for thirty-five kilometers. And for the longer distance, the economic voltage of power transmission is higher than uh, which is desired for traction system, and hence transformer substitution are necessary. With one sixty-two by three hertz supply, the traction motors are of single phase series types and are supplied at low voltage of order 400 volt for a, from a transformer carried out on the vehicle with uh, both DC and single phase system only one contact where is uh, normally used and the running rails act as a return conductor. Low frequency operation on, uh, on of the AC motors improve its commute, uh, commutation properties, power factor and efficiency and low frequency operation of overhead line reduce the line reactance and hence for the same voltage drop substation can be spaced at relatively wide distance of 50 to 80 kilometers. Now, in case of supply at low frequency is obtained from a generating station exclusively meant for the traction purposes, there is no problem as power corresponding to this frequency can always be generated. But if the power is to be drawn uh, from existing industrial electric network, the frequency converters along with transformer will be required to convert 3 phase 50 hertz into single phase 162 by 3 hertz to 20, uh, 5 hertz as required. Next we discuss about 3 phase system. In case of 3 phase system, energy can be drawn directly from the existing 3 phase electric network or by using transformer substation. In case of a network a is operating at higher voltage, the system therefore has high efficiency as no converting equipment is involved. Now here are two trolley wires per track are uh, required and are connected between two phase of the supply. The induction motor is used as the drive which is robust in construction and cheap in the first coal. Now it has high efficiency and it acts as an induction generator when runs at a speed more than its synchronous speed and thus during regenerative braking by changing the number of poles the synchronous speed can be reduced and hence the power can be pumped back into the supply system and since it is a constant speed motor which can be used to limit the speed of the train to a definite value. So, uh, three phase mainline uh, railways operated at voltage 3300 uh, to 3600 and a frequency uh, range of uh, 162 by 3 hertz and low starting uh, torque, high uh, starting current and constant speed characteristics of induction motors are some of the reasons why three phase system could be become popular for the traction system. Now efforts have been made to combine the advantages of these AC, DC and three phase and single phase system and composite system have been evolved. The AC system is preferable from the viewpoint of the distribution and contact wire system 
and it can be converted into DC in the locomotive and can be used to run DC series motor which have been most desirable characteristics for traction purpose. And another known as Kando uh, system developed in Hungary 1932 uses a, a phase converter on the locomotive to convert single phase supply to three phase supply at relatively lower frequency with the development of SCRs and it has been uh, possible to obtain frequency as low as half hertz to 10 hertz and at low frequency the induction motor developed high starting torque without drawing excessive current from the system and easy speed control is made possible by varying the frequency of the supply that's all from today's class if you have any problem please contact with me my contact details is given on the first slide thank you